have the, the proper introduction to the event. It was just warm yeah, up. Yeah, so. well, I'm I myself I did a dance degree, but I'm not an artist. Um, so I'm really glad to have you guys over here to test this out. Thank um, you, Gerard, Doctor Brisco, <laughs> um, and also for George and Jaji to be on board with me um, for this journey. So I hope you enjoy the day, the day, the weekend. Um, come back tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> um, Gerard helpfully pointed out tomorrow is the time change. So, oh, unfortunately, it's uh, you lose one hour of sleep. Um, but welcome to a hackathon. <laughs> uh, so we had a shared interest in trying to understand how a hackathon works in general terms. And I work on a project that looks at knowledge exchange from arts and humanities to uh, the digital economy. And it just became apparent that if this is a method that works within the digital economy, and there's said to be a hackathon a week, at least in London, and there's a, a phenomenon of it happening globally, whether as an approach, as a method, it actually might apply to other spaces that don't involve sitting on a computer for 48 hours to produce a prototype or a demo. And that's where the idea kind of came from, and we have gathered people along the way who are also interested in asking this question. So for me, as a researcher, this is an experiment to see how this is going to work. Does it work? How does it work? And uh, see what we can learn from it. Now, as a matter of housekeeping, I realized when I was asked to give logos to put on the website, there's about 15 in my case. So the lead places I should thank for anybody who's interested is the RC UK Digital Economy Programme, Communities and Cultures Network, for anybody who knows it, Queen Mary, University of London where I work, um, and the Glasgow School of Art who are also um, participating part of the, the funds for this. So I hope everybody enjoys um, the activities that have been organised by our hosts. And I hope you will find it interesting and do expect that I might come and ask you some questions at some point. But it's nothing personal. I'm going to ask everybody questions at some point. Okay, thank you. Okay, so to the shape of the day. Um, so when we were approached the first time and decided to develop this Make It Now before, you, you know, it was still a choreographer then. Um, to develop Maker Now, then a few of the things that we made the initial decisions on were about how to mirror a hackathon without making it a hackathon. In a hackathon, whether, I don't know if you're familiar, but the participants start with a set of data, form groups, and then basically that's all they do is develop that until the very end, where sometimes there are prizes or a competition of some description. And as you've seen already from this morning, nothing really resembles that yet. Um, so what we've done, <laughs> yeah. Um, so what, but what we've done is use some of the methodologies we already use for multidisciplinary collaboration and kind of waking up creativity as a whole to kickstart the day and get ourselves into a space of sharing and embarrassment and collaboration and creativity. To then move on to, okay, what is it that we're actually going to be doing? And what's happening today is that as a set of data, we have three initiating projects. They've been called the initiators. It's quite an interesting title. Yes, I've been an initiator this weekend. And would you, would you mind raising your arm for a second? So these are the initiators. These two guys work together. We will hear a lot more about them in a second, but they have basically provided the data. Well, that's what they're going to do in the next few hours. They're going to get a chance to tell you about their project, the idea, and they'll get a chance to work with everyone in this room first. And then, and I don't know if they know this yet, they have to let go of their project. Move away. Yes. Uh, and leave it until the very end. So then, by that point, you become collaborators in somebody else's project. So the initiators provide this data that, that is then hacked the whole weekend and have no control over that and it's presented back to everyone. You go, oh, I see. <laughs> yes. So that's, that's the closest to a hackathon that we got, which is the data must not be controlled. And that's the basic element, isn't it? 
here you go, and at the end is presented back. Um, in the interest of building this environment of collaboration, and we've been discussing this for a while, but I think uh, this is the kind of conclusion we've got so far, is this. The project that is arriving today, obviously, is the project of those artists. But once it becomes data, it's a set of collaborative ideas that by the end of the event, once it's presented back, anyone who's collaborated in those ideas is free to make use of it. However, when that is mentioned in the future, is referred back to this environment or to those collaborators. So it's a kind of acknowledgement. Because any time we go into collaborations, there are issues of ownership, of authorship, of IP, and so on. So we've decided to suggest that for the next four, how many hours? 40, 36, um, that that project pauses, the project as it exists in the head of the initiators, as it exists on paper, that pauses. And that kickstarts a series of ideas. And when those ideas are shared, they are not the project. And the project then unpauses and continues with the initiator, is their project. However, the set of ideas that are created here are communal. Yeah? Do you A, understand, and B, agree? Yes. The, the, pro the project is yours. The title, the shape of it, the way you present it, that never ceases to be yours. However, we are creating a place where it's a kind of common, common ground of creativity. And what your project is doing is, is a kind of catapult. And then many things will happen as a result of it. Uh, and at the end of that, everything that is presented, anyone can take forward as a collaboration on their own. What we did say, though, that might be the minimum is that if, if any of those ideas is then used, that it then acknowledged that oh, this is a result of a meeting and collaboration uh, with other artists. But that's it, really. Is that, how is that? Is that okay? And absolute apologies. This is a, one of our first big learnings is, and this is the first maker now. Uh, hopefully there'll be more and that'll be the first thing to do is make it super clear. Um, so the next step is now setting you up into groups. 